Hey guys, what's up? This is it. This is the ultimate rarities WWE unboxation. These are my rarest WWE toys. I figured instead of just leaving them in their package, let's open them up. First, we're kicking it off with Series 20. John Cena figured we should start with the greatest wrestler of all time. And if you disagree with me, then you're just a hater because honestly, John Cena kicked butt in the Michael Bay film. Uh, Transformers Bumblebee. So here he is. He comes with a red, aka raw, money in the bank. Comes with a baby ladder. Uh, because it's so small. Uh, you can see how small it is there. And of course, he comes with his John Cena hat, which says, You can't see me. So uh, everyone in the comments make your, uh, I can't see what toy you're holding, dumb joke. So there it is. It's, uh, his dog tags because he played a police officer in the movie Bumblebee and this is it. Green John Cena without a shirt so it's like honestly worst John Cena figure ever. Let's keep moving on. We don't have all day. One minute down. 57,000 to go. Yo, let's do some basics. Alright. Yeah, that's alright. We've got so many figures, guys. You have no idea how many times I've been waiting to make this video but didn't because it's like, yo, gotta save up for all my figures. Alright, this is a uh, uh, mustard fan Rey Mysterio wearing the colors of the brand of McDonald's. Is this a rare figure nowadays? Absolutely. This is, could have been sold for 15 million on eBay, but I open it up. This is an awesome looking figure, but we don't have enough time, so we're looking at Fit Finlay. This is a really old looking figure, but it's beat up, so it doesn't matter that I opened him up. And guys, uh, for everyone in the comments, freaking out about me opening all these rare toys. Why did you click on a video that literally said that I'm unboxing rare WWE toys? This is an awesome looking figure that shouldn't be sitting inside that paper and plastic cartridge. And here we go, AJ Lee, one of her first basics. I think this was her second. This is probably a rare figure. Rarity down the drain right there. Took it out of packaging. Here she is, released from her cell. As I was saying, for all the haters out there, all the mint on card collectors, I just want to point out that bugs do feed on paper. So, uh, yeah, you're just you're just uh, inviting bugs into your house, basically. And here is dashing Ring of Honor Cody Rhodes wearing his Cody Rhodes mustache uh, mountain t-shirt because he was a big fan of them back in the day and heel camera yet again doesn't know how to focus but that's all right guys here he's looking really fancy the back of the shirt it says like uh groom for generations or something dumb like that and speaking of groom for generations here is the champion of all champions mr no head daniel f brian wearing a shirt that says no 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 a beard that says stop it and an attire that says no 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 this is an incredibly looking bad figure just kidding it looks awesome and if you disagree with that then you're a hater literally if you thumbs down this video you're probably a uh you're probably a tna stooge uh plugged in and speaking of tna this is the greatest wrestler of all time the great Kali, and for those of you saying like, yo man, bugs don't go in your WWE toys, I remember someone on Twitter, I forget who it was, was uh, posting that he found a cockroach in one of his mint on card figures, so yeah, guys, take your figures out of the boxes, and here is my favorite woman's wrestler, Kelly, freaking Kelly, this figure doesn't look that much like her though, so... I don't feel much pain taking this out of the figure set. If you agree with me, hit that like button. But if you, if you disagree with me, then uh, hit the like button too. Because uh, if, if this video gets downvoted, then then y'all are just haters of WWE. And why are you watching this if you're a hater? Let's be honest. Okay. Arnold Ziffle Rider right here. Ziff Man, as I call him when I DM him on Instagram, but he never writes back. Uh, Zachary, uh, respond to my DMs, bro. Here's like one of those uh, things you scan to download like an app or something on the e-store or something. I don't know what that does. So if someone scans that with your phone, tell me if I got you free DLC codes or something. But here he is, the Zephyrman. And uh, again, we got another rare figure. This is Santina Morella, the greatest woman's wrestler of our generation. If anyone knows a better woman's wrestler, then they're lying to you because it's 100% Santina wearing... Uh, a Santino shirt, and it says hash at, at Milan Miracle. So, uh, they're sponsoring this guy's shirt. 
And then here we go, it's Hunico kind of revealing who's wearing the hood of Sin Cara, but whatever, guys. It's Sin Cara Negro. I think that means black in Spanish or something. Or is that French? I don't know, guys. I only speak English, but here's the figure. Heel camera doesn't want to focus, but uh, heel camera is not the boss here. It is your boy. Uh, yeah, this figure's dank. Dank memes. And last but not least is another Cody Rhodes. Champion. I think he's left ring. Look at this. He's out of the box. And this is like a legit boring looking figure. Like for real, if you bought this, why would you do that? Boring. Yo, so that was fun and all, but I know what you're saying. We're the elite, so I'm bringing them back, boys and girls, for everyone watching this video, actually. This right here is Shawn Michael Davidson. Let's open this Shawn Michael Davidson figure up. Uh, this is a legit, I think this was a, uh, I don't know what exclusive. It wasn't even an exclusive. Uh, just a figure, at least. And he comes with a championship title, but, like, let's be honest, these are too small to actually wear comes with an arm bracelet, but it's kind of dumb because he only comes with one, and as we all know, humans have two arms, right? <laughs> is he an alien or something? Only having one arm. And here the figure itself is looking uh, kind of like Shawn Michaels, but Shawn Michaels doesn't have hair anymore, so like, fail fart, fail scale. Uh, it's his heartbreak kit. All right. Now here we go. I know everyone wanted some old school stuff, so here's Series 8 Sheamus Mint on card. This is a very, very rare figure, autographed as you can see there. But you know what? I legit don't care, guys, because uh, I don't want I don't want bugs, yo. You know, is that is that so bad to ask for? No bugs. So here we go. Taking this guy out of the box. Boom. All value down the drain. He comes with like a a little piece of pipe. I don't know why. And then he has the derpiest looking face. Like, look at that. Is this like a meme or something? Duh! And nice detail though on his Seamus uh, bracelet necklace. And then he has his uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship and a boring attire, but that face really sells me on this figure. Duh! All right, and then up next we have the greatest general manager of SmackDown. It is Paige, back when she was a wrestler. She's coming with two championships right here, right now. I will show you those two championships. It is the NXT Championship, the old school NXT Women's Championship, before they changed it. Uh, but this is what it used to look like. And it, for all the real fans who, you know, used to watch NXT back in the day before it was... Uh, uh, so pr prolific, you know, and this is the Divas Championship, uh, best championship ever. Why'd they take it away? Because they were stupid. Bring back, hashtag bring back the butterfly belt. Am I right, boys and girls? Okay, and here's Paige looking a little too much like Emelina, if you ask me. But yeah, it's a cool outfit. Okay, who cares? We've already reviewed that figure 500 times. Let's check out this Walmart exclusive Shawn Michaels with that big smile on the back. This is what I'm talking about. Is this going to be the best video ever? You better hit that thumb. I'm just telling you guys, if you haven't hit that thumbs up video yet, just leave this video. Because you're obviously a fake WWE fan. This is Shawn Michaels coming with a red ladder because uh, he used to be a fireman. That's why he's like a, a sexy boy or whatever, because uh, as you all know, the sexiest job a man could have is as a fireman. Uh, so here he is with his ladder and uh, face that doesn't really look like Shawn Michaels. It looks kind of like a senator or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not really there, but... Uh, Nice try, Mattel. <laughs> Get it? Mattel, not Mattel. And then last, not, not least, uh, last video ever, it's John Cena. Uh, so thank you, John Cena, for repping uh, Bumblebee, the greatest Transformer movie, starring uh, Mia Khalifa. Isn't that that song? Nyan Nyan Cosplay? Okay, here we go. It's a belt. And... Uh, Dabbing like Wiz Khalifa, you know what I'm saying? Okay, here's another belt, no one cares, and here's John Cena. Lit. Lit AF boys and girls. Uh, let's do some basics, alright? We got uh, Bo Dallas looking very Bo Dallas-like. Uh, wearing a Bo Dallas shirt uh, in the Bo Dallas style back when he believed that the world was awesome, but now he's just like, I don't know what the heck he's doing, but it says Believe, and on the back it says, that's all you have to do. Believe.
Cringe. This figure is legit cringe. All right, speaking of cringe, here's a very cool AJ Lee figure, probably one of the few still left mint on card. Oops, <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. All right, so this is AJ Lee, finally happy to have this one taken out of the packaging. I think that this is a fantastic, wonderful looking AJ Lee figure, and I'm glad to have freed it from a plastic prison, but what is that? Ah, paint flaws, that's why. Uh, never take your figures out of the box, JK. Well, rare. You said you wanted rare? All right, here's Miss Elizabeth, series 19. You can see the rarest people in the set. Brock Lesnar, first time in the line, but whatever. This is Miss Elizabeth, first time and not last time. They put out a Walmart exclusive figure. Let me know if you dab when you got that. But here she is wearing a dress. Um, what is underneath the dress? A dog barking, maybe. Uh, all right, that's what's underneath the dress. If you've ever wondered what she looks like without her dress on, there you go. The mystery is solved right here. But true, the best thing about this is she was the first woman to have double jointed knees. So like, lit. Back to basics, we got Zack Ryder here in the house, looking very angry, but that's fine because he's just Zack Ryder. He's all over the face of the place of uh, Zack Ryder. This is a legit looking figure, legit man, uh, wearing a helmet that says Zack Ryder, and on the back it says New York, woo woo, you know it, the Empire State. Empire State of Mind. Six. Okay, this is Nikki Bella wearing a Nikki Bella pose mode from uh, Blee Mode's backyard. Uh, fearless mode is what she says, and she came with a hat because, you know, Mattel's lit when they give you accessories with the basics. This is a freaking awesome looking figure. My uh, heel camera is so envious of it that it's not even focusing, but there you go. There's the focus. Bella 02, because she was the second one born. This is a legit figure. Sick. Austin Aries, remember him? Yeah, I don't either. Dude was in WWE for a hot second, then he left. And he, I don't, I don't know what he does. But this is a terrible looking face, and there's a tattoo. Holy crap, this is a cringe fig. All right, and then here is Drew McIntyre making waves as the greatest WWE wrestler of all time. But this is back when they were putting out really bad figures of him. It kind of looks like him, but not really. But you know what? I'm roasting figures here, so give me the thumbs down. But that means you're a fake WWE shell who doesn't understand that you can have favorites and least favorites. Okay, guys, and here is Emelina, my favorite wrestler of all time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. What are you doing watching this video if you haven't liked it? Leave if you haven't liked it. Leave if you haven't subscribed because this video is only for the real WWE fans like those who can name who this wrestler is. I'm not going to say everyone in the comments if you know who this is. Y'all should say and hit the thumbs up for everyone else you see saying it correctly because this is epic. Elite time! Wow. All right, so we got tons of toys here. This is Elite Series 23, Randy Macho Man Savage. This is a figure that, uh, for some reason, they use that visage of Randy Orton, but it's that's not at all the figure we got there. This is, when I was first getting into wrestling, this figure was hitting the shelves, so it, it holds a heavy place in my heart because uh, it's the first figure I bought and the last one I will never get. Ha ha ha, I get it. That was a lie. All right, so here he is wearing like a shirt and some cool colors and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know what period this is from, but if you know, then you're a true Macho Man fan, but I'm not, I'm a fake fan. I just know the ooh yeah, cream of the crop. Okay, here it is, the belt, but does it matter if you're a real or fake fan? Who cares, guys? Be yourself, you know? Stop being afraid to be who you are, which is you. But don't be a heel camera that doesn't focus on a belt. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's move on to the sh freaking show. Seth freaking Rollins, the best heel in the business. I love every time he turns on Dean Ambrose and the face of all faces, Dean Ambrose, tells people that they need to shower because that's what we all need to do, guys. Be honest, don't forget to shower. He comes with his money in the bank because he was perpetually a money in the bank winner. 
And here he is, his first ever elite. This was his last ever elite, too, because he quit the wrestling business to become a farmer in the land of Montana. So I miss you so much, Seth Rollins. Please come back to the business. Here's Shawn Michaels. I hate you, Shawn Michaels. That's why I have all your toys. Lol. <laughs> For people being like, why do you buy your toys if you hate them? I don't. Lol? Question <laughs> mark. All right. So here he is holding the belt. Looks really cool in this pose. So I'm legit not going to touch him at all. But my camera doesn't like focusing. So I'll make it focus. And there you go. He's wearing white and has hearts. Because if you didn't realize by now, he is the heart break kid. And let's move on to another Shawn Michaels. This is a ringside collectibles exclusive. That means this is hecka rare. Uh, they don't make this anymore, so of course I gotta open it. Gotta destroy all reset value. This is him in his DX attire. You can tell because there are X's on that, but they forgot the D. So, oops, I guess. But yeah, there he is. Lame figure. Big Dave from the famous movie Avengers Infinite War. Uh, his most famous quote from that movie is the, G the Gamora what? <laughs> Lol. Uh, question mark? All right. <laughs> Here we go. Don't forget to hit that like button as I struggle to get this figure out of the packaging. This is literally more cringe than YouTube Rewind 2018. All right. Here he is. And this is all we got. Just a painted back. Gosh, looking back on these toys, we got we got pretty chipped sometimes. But yo, that was the first Batista we got, so I guess it was epic. Lol? Question mark? Was it? Not really? Okay. All right, here's Stardust. I don't know where Stardust has been. It was like Cody Rhodes got fired and Stardust never performed again. I don't know why, but here he is, Stardust, looking really cringe. Just kidding, guys. He's not cringe at all. And if you think he's cringe, then maybe you're cringe. Maybe that's the problem! Maybe you're cringe and he's not. But he came with uh, these two titles, so like, lit. And then here is a Wrestlemania Heritage Series Spooky Cane. So if you're getting scared, I recommend you shut off this video because the last thing I want is for you to not be able to sleep tonight because this video is too... Spooky. And this guy's like the mayor of North Dakota or something now. So if you live in North Dakota, this guy's literally running your country. So, um, yeet, <laughs> you know, and then he comes with this, uh, uh, plate and uh, fire extinguisher. Cause you never know when you need to extinguish fire, especially when it's WWE branded fire extinguishers, the best brand around. All right, guys. Warning, the next figure I'm going to unbox is going to give a lot of you some nerdgasms, some fangasms, because this is so rare, so HTF. It is Dolph Ziggler. I know who in their right mind would ever open this rare figure. Your boy TTT has gone cray cray psycho mode. So he comes with a shirt, he comes with a belt, and he comes with the figure himself. So epic. Okay, Ben Shapiro doesn't even have the epicness of this figure, and I am arming you with the facts and the knowledge that now I'm actually opening the rare stuff. Like, this is legit rare old elites and San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. This right here is a Walmart exclusive Mean Gene Okerlund action figure build and interview set. He was the only one I got out of the set though, no one else, so that's why I'm finally opening this up. I was gonna review it, but oops, I'll just roast it in this video. All right, so he comes with uh, a shirt and like he looks good and stuff because he looks like him, okay. And then he comes with like extra arms or something so you can put them under his bed like he's a serial killer or something. He comes with an epic old school WWE F microphone and then he comes with a lighting kit. So if any of you want to act like you're a, a professional photographer and DM some girls on Instagram and just be like, yo, I'm a professional photographer. And they're like, do you have a lighting kit? Just be like, uh, yeah, cringe. But if anyone asks you who the greatest wrestler of all time is and they don't say Big Show, well, then you're just lying to yourself. This is a pre-taped, previously opened, I think. This is in terrible condition. This is an Elite Series 4 Big Show. I paid about $700 for this on the black market. 
and I'm super excited to say that I'm finally able to open this in the greatest video of all time. Hit that thumbs up if you disagree and agree. This is Big Show. The coolest thing about this is you can actually take off his clothes. Welcome to Demonetization City, where we undress Big Show. How do I do this? I don't know, man. Why the heck do they, like... Mattel must have been sniffing some something if they thought like this is what wrestling fans want dress up big show and you can't even take off his dumb thing is this uh all right guys so like legit i can't get this off um so dress up big show has been canceled because it's too difficult to get off i'm so sorry blame mattel not me and come to stand this is big show uh so like Stan. I stand him. Okay, and here is Zack Ryder, his first in the line elite, I'm pretty sure, when he had that cool leg thing. This is a shout out to my boy, uh, Zack. Please respond to my DM, because I just unboxed your rarest figure ever. Look how cool he looks, looking really uncool. Huh. Fashion mistakes, am I right? Camera not focusing mistakes, am I wrong? Yeah, that's a bad thing. Just kidding, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, now here is Stormtrooper himself, Mr. Shockmeister. Uh, put him upside down in the case, get it? Because he fell upside down and stuff. This is the figure I've been looking for for a real freaking long time. So I'm going a, I'm to a unbox it. I'm going to open it up. Everyone, if you haven't dabbed yet for this video, hit that dab button. Because if you hit, hit that dab, hit that... Uh, yes. Okay, so here, here's his helmet. Looks surprisingly like a Stormtrooper's. I don't know how they did it without getting sued. And then you put it on the set, and it's like, yo. That's freaking Shockmaster, baby! Why the heck would you keep this in the box? Lit. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I've had a great time making these videos, so it's always sad when they have to end. But that time isn't now! We're going throwback time to the Rumblers. Remember these guys? How they like, rotate and stuff like that? Yeah, whatever. This is Brock Lesnar Rumbler. Let's see how difficult it is to get out of the packaging. Very easy. And look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Sicko mode, baby. Okay, I made that joke already. But here we got Kofi Kingston, and he's one of the oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's take him out of the packaging. This is pre New Day Kofi, so he's like super rare, super legit. You can see once, once I zoom in that his face is epically rare. Dank meme! Okay, and here is Evan Bourne, aka Matt Seidel, and Mike the Miz Mizanin. Mizanin? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but here you go. This is Evan Matt Seidel Bourne doing some peace signs like he's doing some Fortnite dance. Kill camera. You got one thing to focus on, bro. Yeah! And then his BFF ever, it's Mike the Miz looking not like Mike the Miz. Alright, and then who else do we have? We have Yoshi, Tatsu, and Zack Ryder on clearance from Target. Was for 78. Wow. Alright, here's Yoshi Tatsu, the greatest Bullet Club member ever. And next up is Zack Ryder doing, uh, oh, he had sunglasses and they come off. Woo, 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 you know it. Let's put them back on because he looks cooler with them. Yeah, lit, bruh. And here is Tenzai and Justin Gabriel. First Tenzai Rumbler figure. Probably last, let's be honest. These things didn't last at all. I always thought they were pretty cool. What about you guys? All right, so here's Tenzai. Not the first time we'll be seeing Tenzai in this video. Well, yeah, the first time, but not the last. And here's Justin Gabriel. I l yeah, you'll see him again in this video. And again, we have CM Punk, rarest figure ever, and Kane, looking kind of derpy. So let's check him out. You know me, I live, I love my derp. Hey guys, my name is Derp. Uh, yeah, that's the derpiest looking Kane I've ever seen. Arrgh! And then we got CM Punk when he had his hair slicked back. Not my favorite CM Punk look, but uh, you might disagree with me there. I like CM Punk when he was all fighting Wakanda Forever, Mike, whatever his name is. Now the last one, Antonio Cesaro, first ever Rumbler against Brodus the Man Clay. 
the two greatest wrestlers of all time. Where are they now? Literally nowhere. They both got fired from the company. I miss Antonio when he would do his like UFO swings and stuff. And here he is, Brodus the Beast Clay. Love it. Love this version of him. But yeah, let's check out some elites. Nope. We're doing battle packs. What's the rarest figure I've unboxed so far? I don't know, but we're getting into much rarer stuff here. We're kicking it off with a rare one. This is before they were called Battle Packs, when they were called Supreme Teams. We have Darren Young, Justin Gabriel. This is six plus, it's rare. Look at the back of that. How many of these guys still with the company? Not many. Who is that guy? I have no idea, honestly. I'm not even playing with you. But yeah, look at all this stuff. WWEKids.com, does that site still work? I doubt it. Uh, oh, look at the back. That's the tights and stuff that are working on these toys. So here is Justin Gabriel. Looking really cool. PJ Black, that's his name. Uh, terrible looking attire, though, until you look at the back. And then it's like, yeah, that's still kind of bad. Uh, but he has his Nexus sleeve on. And there's his face looking like Justin Gabriel. And for the dumbest look of all time, here is Darren Young. Make Darren Young Darren again. And he got, like... Uh, the dumbest hair I've ever seen. Yeah. What the heck? Alright. And the attire's not that cool, but he has the N that she used to show Nickelodeon on TV. And here we go. More rare stuff. This is Kurt Hawkins, known from Grimm's Toy Show. Eat it, yeah, if anyone knows that. Let me know in the comments if you get that obscure reference. And here is Grimm from Grimm's Toy Show, right next to him. <laughs> get it? Because it's Brodus Plate, not Grimm. Uh, don't start the rumor that they're the same person. Okay, here he is. It's, it's, it's uh, Brodus the Beef Cake. Uh, he's wearing a hat because he's starring in the film The Leprechaun. And on the back it says Funkasaurus. Because he's a dinosaur. That's like his persona. And here is uh, Kurt, Kurt Hawkins, who later had an elite, but this was his first and for a while only figure. So I, I guess it's it was rare, but it's not anymore. And he comes with a stick. Uh, it looks pretty good because it looks like him, but like, wow. Wow. And then here we go. It's Ryback and Jinder Mahal, including a video camera. This is Ryback and Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal, you might know him as WWE Champion. Uh, the greatest WWE Champion ever. Look at that really cool attire he has here. It's very bright pink, magenta, whatever color you think it is. The world is your oyster. And he has a face that looks like Jinder Mahal. Remember when they made him the exclusive in that SmackDown set? What a cringe set. And there's the camera lit. And here is Ryback looking even more lit than that figure because look at that attire. Whoa! That's a cool attire, boys and girls. Okay, and now here is Curtis Axel and Triple H. As we all know, Curtis Axel did get the 1-2-3 pin on Triple H, and this is to commemorate that epic win, that actor, ep, ep, epic victory battle royale. The big dub, the big W, it is Curtis Axel, the axe man looking good. And then they come with a pallet, because I guess they were at Costco or some, something, maybe Big Lots. You know what I'm saying? BJ's? Okay, Samson. It's not Big Lots. Uh, okay, and this is Triple H. Looks literally like every Triple H that has been put out the past 12 years. And the last battle pack ever on this channel. I will never show you guys another battle pack because this is the greatest. Mark Henry, Triple H with some frosting on it or something. I don't know what happened there. And they come with their greatest accessory. Never forget the time they had their great do not enter the bathroom match. And they had to put this up on every bathroom. And Big Show was legit angry. Look how angry he looks. Wow. Wow. Greatest greatest figure of all time. If you didn't buy this, you're a fake WP fan. Hit that like button if you get the sarcasm. But if you don't get the sarcasm, just wait a couple years. Maybe you'll understand. And here it is. Mark Henry. Enough said. Where's some men? Hey guys, remember when WWE 2K did that dumb what's in the hat thing? Well, my good bud Rob Pollock, D21B, sent me these ages ago. I only opened uh, most of the sets. I forgot to open one, so we're doing our own what's in the hatch. These are mystery teeny mates. Uh, so here's what we got. 
Stone Cold and Dolph Ziggler. I think that's a double from the last time. So, oops, my bad. But thanks, Rob. And then we have this uh, WWE Funko mini figurines. Uh, I remember once getting super excited to get the whole set, and I didn't get the whole set. I was only sent one. I didn't do anything, but the time is now to open this and see which one I got. Who is the rarest one out of all of them? I have no idea, but it better be the rarest one. If it's not, I'm selling it forever. Okay. Okay. Who is it? It's Big Show. It's straight up Big Show. Holy crap. I got Big Show. That's legit Big Show, right? Right? Looks like Hanna-Barbera aesthetic. Okay. 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 Let's do some basics. We got basics, basics. Does anybody want some more basics? All right, no one does. So we're kicking it off with Seamus, the best fella out of all my fellas. Everyone in the chat, give me some jazz hands. Okay, this is Seamus with uh, his neck beard aesthetic. He's like the type of person that he goes to a metal show for the first time, and it's actually not a metal show. It's just like, uh, I don't know, Starship. And he's like, oops, I, I messed up. Okay, whatever, that took like three hours to do that. Here's Kofi Kingston, skills all day, the rarest shirt ever. He has so many skills that they're just all day. What does that mean? I have legit no idea, but this is the bluest figure I have ever seen. It's blue and yellow. Also, is that supposed to be like poop? I've never understood why they thought that was a good design right there for the Kofi Kingston. Yeah, no idea, but whatever. Whatever. Someone explain to me what that's supposed to be, because I don't know. Here we go, guys. First time in the line, Sasha Banks from Boston, Massachusetts. If you guys don't know, I was born and raised in uh, Providence. So that's like not Boston, Massachusetts. But here's Sasha Banks from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, okay. And here's Dolph Ziggler. You wish you could. You, you wish you could. I wish I could, to be honest. Do what? Pull this off. Pull what off his shirt? <laughs> All right, here's a rare old school best of 2010, Dave Batista. Let me know if you were even born in 2010. I was only 15 in 2010, so that was like a long time ago for me. Um, here is Dave Batista on his belt. It says Batista, and on the back it says Batista. First ever Batista we ever got, and this is kind of cringe factory, but it came with uh, a base. Does anyone remember when your figures actually had value and gave you some cool stuff with it? I don't. All right, here it is, Razor Ramon. Big fan of the Ramones. Yeah, so let's take him out. Let's look at him for a hot second. Sick. And here's Daniel Bryan. Remember when he retired and then came back? I bought this figure thinking it would be his last figure, but then he came back and it was like, uh, thank you for retiring and then coming back, bro. Cool. And here's Skip Sheffield, one of my favorite wrestlers. I don't know what happened to him, to be honest. He was really cool, but then, like, he, he never did anything. But here we go, Skip Sheffield, looking awesome. My favorite Nexus wrestler, so legit, so dank meme. Cut. All right, last ever defining moment. You ready for this? Yeah, Razor Ramon, baby! No one was expecting this. This goes out in tribute to my boy, Rob, D21 Beast, Pollock. Uh, because he loves Razor Ramon, so figured the last one I'd ever do on this channel is Razor Ramon, because they canceled this line. Uh, you know, I have probably been the biggest critic of this line out of anyone, uh, because for some reason this they charged, uh, five dollars more, and this could have just been an elite. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that, because we got, like, twenty dollar Razor Ramones that are probably better than this, but, you know, YOLO. And then we also have, uh... Elites. Tons and tons of elites. All right, but don't stare at them. Let's open them. This is Shawn Michaels. I'm gonna see these. They don't make these easy to rip open. Tape. Tape is a man's worst enemy. Not true, but like sometimes I feel like that. Box of toys. This is Shawn Michaels. Well, green exclusive. This one was uh, quite a, a challenge to find. To be honest, I never even found the Shawn Michaels that was uh, a Becky Lynch exclusive, but this is what he looks like. He has a hat, DX, uh, they remember the D, and here is the DX shirt. Fits perfectly, right? Dank. Okay, and here is Rey Mysterio. 
very cool looking elite here. This is uh, from this elite series. First time in the line, Jerry Lawler. That would be really cool to find that nowadays, right? Lawl, Blur. Uh, he comes with a mask. This is legit cool looking, especially because he's back with the company. It's Ray Mysterio. Let me do the autofocus. There you go. It's Ray Mysterio looking very booyaka booyaka. Legit awesome. And on the back it says Ray. There's his tattoos on the front. Tattoos. Coolest figure ever. Let's put the mask on like he does when he comes out. Whoa. Spooky Town. Population one. Ray Mysterio. Wow. Now, uh, Triple H. Whose exclusive was this? Was this even ex exclusive? Yeah, Walgreens maybe? I don't know, man. Let's open it up. Check out what he has. This is another DX figure. Because Walgreens loves their DX. And so does Saudi Arabia, apparently. Uh, yeah. So it comes with a sledgehammer, because what's Triple H without a sledgehammer? And then it comes with Triple H, because what's a Triple H figure without a Triple H figure? That would be so sad. Uh, everyone in the chat, ask Alexa to play Despacito, too, because this is so sad. And then he also comes with a water bottle, so he can spit everywhere. Epic memes, yo. Triple H spits. Let's put it in his hand, and you got the greatest Triple H figure of all time. The Rybaxel right there. This is his first ever figure. I've never reviewed a Ryback figure before this. So get ready to rock and roll. Feed me more, he says, as he lifts up his arms. And look at the detail on this one, though, yo. Let's uh, just check out that beard, yo. Let me zoom in. Yeah, all right, all right. And he came with, like, a chair and uh, a shirt. So, uh, best toy. Best toy of 2018. Then we got Shawn Michaels. This is another ringside exclusive, because you know me, I love ringside collectibles, they, they never sponsored me, so, lol, question mark, uh, is that sarcasm, question mark, uh, do I actually love them, question mark, does anyone actually love them, question mark, so here it is, Shawn Michaels, with, uh, some cringe attire, like, seriously, if someone walked into, uh, a workplace wearing this, literally everyone would cringe. Then continuing on with the legends, here is Marisa, including her Intercontinental Championship. This is when she won it. On the back of the box, it says French Canadian Beauty, but as we all know, that's actually KO. It's a little mistake on Mattel's part, but I'll give them an L instead of a W for that. So sorry, guys. Let's open this out of the box. As I said, she comes with a championship. Get that out of here. She comes with a hat, looking like Robin Zander or something from Cheap Trick. And, uh, yeah. Yow! E. Uh, she's sick. She's. This is a legit figure, but why is it twenty dollars? Because it came with that belt. Uh, it should have been a basic. Lol. <laughs> Lol. All right. And then we got Big Show, which is legit awesome. He comes with a build a figure for Ricardo Rodriguez. Even though I only have one figure from the set, so we will never be able to build him. So yeah, my loss. So he comes with the head his microphone, and his body. Dang, his shirt. So there's Big Show wearing a sexy Big Show hat. Looks so good. Um, I've never seen a better Big Show shirt, especially with his best tattoo. Big Show from the great movie, Jingle All The Way, 2008. Uh, the sequel, made by WWE Films. It was awful, never seen that. All right, now continuing the trend of Sheamus figures. Here is Seamus with his Hooligans shirt. Let's open this up. This is build a John Cena dad, John Laurinaitis. No, Nikki Bella's dad, John Laurinaitis figure. So let's take him out of the box. Let's see what he looks like. All right, he said he came with a bunch of things. He comes with just a shirt. Uh, so there you go. Shirt. It's kind of a boring Seamus figure because they misspelled lack. Uh, what? L-O-C. Okay, lock. Now we got Sin Cara in his beautiful attire when he was wearing beautiful attires. Whatever happened to Sin Cara? Is he still with the company? Someone tell me where I can watch Sin Cara with his cool lighting and stuff like that. And cool botches. Right there he has Jimmy Jam Laurinaitis' head and he has his body. So let's take, take this uh, body out of there and look at that. Lit! 
Now here's the one figure I've always wanted to open, so I'm finally doing it in this video. It's ironic because this is the last video I will ever post in 2018. So this is going to be unboxed right now. It's, go it's, it's a little sad. It's a little sad to see this one open, but I'd rather open it than have cockroaches living inside of it for me. So let's take him out of the box. It's Christian. Came with some pants. Yeah, this, this is a uh, little underwhelming, <laughs> to be totally honest with you guys. Okay, and then he comes with the belt. Yeah, Marisa did it better. All right, well, YOLO, LOL, YOLO. And here's John Cena, comes with a shirt. We basically saw this figure before, but this one comes with a shirt instead of a ladder and a money in the bank stuff. So, uh, that's what you get. If you can tell, free release. It's yeah, John Cena, he comes with arms, so he can lift you up to the sky, take you to Jupiter Island or something like that. And uh, he, he, he has his dog tags from Bumblebee, the classic movie. That's what he's definitely referenced to. And he had his hat, but I lost it, and his shirt. And now look it, I have a Jimmy Jam Laurinaitis figure. How dank dab, swag dab is that? So swag dab. Okay, and now we're moving on to the, the final round, the final 10. Here is Sting, the ultimate demon, Sting. Uh, if you've ever seen him wrestle IRL, you're lucky because he is a retired wrestler. That means you will never see him wrestle ever again. So he has a coat and a baseball bat because he's such a big fan of baseball, but look at that face. It looks like he painted it himself. Just kidding. Someone from China probably painted it because it's made in China. And it's a baseball bat. But it's actually not. It's a toy accessory made out of plastic. Oops, something fell. Remote's husband, Daniel Bryan, right here, wearing his no 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 attire. This is an elite, a very exclusive elite, turning that no 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 into a yes, 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 doing that yes, yes, yes look. Look at this attire. It's very Daniel Bryan-esque before he was Daniel Bryan. That face though doesn't look Daniel Bryan. That's that's a terrible face. That face is too thin. All right, whatever, you know, can't always win. But we got Fox News, Brodus Clay. If anyone gets that reference, you can uh, stop watching Fox News. Just kidding, guys, I'm not getting political here. Stop watching CNN, too. News will destroy your mind. Tune into the real stuff, guys. The, the, the secret society, you know, that tell the truth, you know? Roswell was, a, was actually Nuclear test, not a UFO. Okay, guys, here we go. It's BC, Boston College, Brodus Clay, wearing a nice attire. Wow, what a beast. What a chick magnet. Speaking of chick magnet, here's Stephanie McMahon's beau, uh, Triple H, the wife of Stephanie, the husband of St the man of the house of Steph the man who married Stephanie McMahon with another sledgehammer for us exclusive when he dyed his hair to look kind of k-pop-esque uh bts that's my favorite k-pop group guys uh so this is triple h where they botched his hair and made him seem like he he was ginger seamus mode or something okay whatever lol uh we got more this is tenzai if you've ever seen tenzai wrestle you're lucky because he doesn't wrestle anymore he now trains at the nxt warehouse training the greatest wrestlers of all time like uh, all those jabronks that no one cares about because no one watches NXT because it's the worst show on television. Hit that like button if you know that sarcasm. I'm just playing you. All right, he comes with this little uh, robe, and then it comes with Tenzai stuff and a Tenzai mask to look like he uh, is spooky or something, like he's from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know? Shredder! Shredder! Look at this hand sculpt. Why don't we get this hand sculpt more often? That's a cool-looking hand. Chokeslam hand. You know what I'm saying? And then, as I promised, the king, Jerry Lawler. This is first time in the line, Elite Series 18. Yep, I did a little precursor hype of this figure. I knew I had it in my pile of figures to take out of the box. Uh, because, why not? Why not? And look at that face. That's a face only a uh, true fan of Jerry Lawler could say looks like him, because I think it looks more like uh, Moretti's face, if you get what I'm saying. But it comes with a hat, you can put it on, and there you go. It looks a lot more like him when you take off the hair, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, peace and love, Ringo Starr. All right, let's look at some more, shan't we? 
to round this video off, we're going hecka old school with Chris Jericho, the greatest wrestler of all time. If you disagree with that, then you're a fake wrestling fan because obviously you are a chill. All right, he comes with a microphone that says W on it. He comes with a basement dweller bass that says Chris Jericho. Look at this microphone, guys. I'm singing because I am in Fozzy. And here it is, Chris Jericho with an arm that's very loose. That's why I'm glad I took it out of the box. It says, save me, um, because apparently he was a big fan of the theme song from the hit TV show, Smallville. Uh, and it's a good looking face that looks kind of like Chris Jericho. So there you go. And then up next, it's the mayor of Kansas City. It's the Demon Kane. Did you know for the first six years of his WWE career, Kane wore a mask to hide the burns on his face, but then something happened and he lost the burns on his face. Kane, you gotta let people know what you did because I, I, you know, I got a burn once and uh, it wasn't cool, you know. My, 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 I was playing Overwatch and, and someone came me and it was a major burn and I needed uh, to figure out how to get that. So it comes with this uh, uh, shaped towel to wear on his head and a goofy looking face. This is a real goofy looking Kane and he's all chained up like he did something bad but uh, knowing Kane, he probably did nothing bad. You know, free Kane. He did nothing wrong. All right, we got the bottom three. This is Triple H. This is like Royal Rumble or something. Let's take him out of the box. Did you know as a teenager, Triple H participated in bodybuilding and he was Mr. Teen New Hampshire? Nope, that's Dan Larson from Toy Galaxy. Uh, all right, so this is Triple H, Mr. Number Two, New Hampshire. Look at that body. Whoa. He comes with a sledgehammer, a shirt. That looks pretty uh, Triple H-licious. If heel camera would focus, you'd see what I'm talking about. Yeah! And he also comes with a water bottle. This time around, though, they painted the top, which they didn't do in the future. Deep, dank meme. Jack Swagger, We the People, Elite Series 5. This is really freaking old. I don't know Vladimir Kosmoff, but this looks like someone retaped it, so I'm gonna reopen it. And I'm gonna Look at this guy. It's Jack Swagger. He comes with uh, an outfit that he can wear, and a base that he can wear on his foot. And now the last figure, the most cringiest cringe master ever, the TikTok Hall of Fame chick magnet, The Miz, WWE Series 3. This is a cringy fig if I've ever seen one. Oh my gosh, so I had to save it for last because it's like, holy crap, guys. He's wearing these dorky looking shorts. He has a m'lady fedora and, a, and uh, he's even set up in the box doing like a m'lady fedora tip. Yo, this is cringe. Personified. Legit. And he also comes with a shirt and stuff. That's his chick magnet, but I'm sure y'all cringing too much from this figure and then when his hat comes off it's it's even more cringe i'm i'm cringing too much but, hey guys welcome to my wwe figure cringe compilation and that's it guys this is the end of the video if you didn't have fun there's literally nothing i can do to make you have fun